I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and the person you're currently dealing with. Two of Pentacles and it's with the Tower. Now this Two of Pentacles it can be about two main issues at front in your mind. So you could have needed to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. And I say this because when you get the two of pentacles in a reading, multitasking is not your friend. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So you would need to be sure that you're paying attention there. Now it's with the tower. The tower card can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. It's important to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, maybe situations that you counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way as they once were. Now this doesn't have to be dire because change is the nature of life and if you try to prevent it, it could be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some, some of them come crashing down. But that's only a problem if you let it be because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Yeah, just know that dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. So, Two of Pentacles, clarified by the Tower for the recent past energy between you and your person. Now, this is telling me that, uh, Gemini, you, you were dealing with someone who was busy, 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 just, uh, just doing this, doing that. For some of you, your person could have lived long distance and just made, made the connection even more challenging. You could have started to feel like um, this person was having trouble finding time and energy for you and the connection. And it fell apart. Yes, it did. The tower is indicating that it fell apart, the connection. You did, this person just made you feel like you were not on their priority list because they were just so busy. So, let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got Temperance, and it's with the Three of Cups. Now, Temperance, with this one, all your relationships, they're likely to be going quite well. But, you may need to look at any deep personal issues that you could have, and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal now is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, and with any goals and aspirations that you have. Now to the Three of Cups. Now this card is often considered to be a card of reunions. But this can be, we'll put it this way, it could be the type of reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away for from, you've been away from for some time. Now this is considered to be a very happy reunion, very upbeat. 
It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really happy occasion. So coming up, Gemini, temperance clarified by this Three of Cups. Yeah, so like I said, the connection fell apart. The person made you feel like you were not a priority. They were busy, just all over the place, maybe. And like I said, for some of you, your person was long distance. But we got this Three of Cups here. This person could be wanting to make a return. Or they want back in. Because the Three of Cups, the card that you see below the word present, um, it's about a... It can be about, like I said, a reunion. Somebody trying to make a return. You could be reaching out to them. Or they could be reaching out to you. And it's saying that it's going to be a very, very happy come together. Yeah, the two of you will rejoice. You two will celebrate. You'll feel like you've got support. This time. Whereas before, when they were all over the place... Yeah, you didn't feel it. And it's because this Three of Cups is with temperance, it's, it's showing it's going to bring balance to your life. Yeah, this Three of Cups is actually beautiful. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. So, we got the King of Wands, and it's with the Lovers. Now, the King of Wands can indicate a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. This person would want to serve as a mentor for you. King of Wands is very positive, even when he does not represent an actual person in your life. He signifies that you could have men around you who are supportive of you and they think really well of you. So, you should be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and having the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. Now, it's with the lovers. The lovers is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. So, yeah, and this is a Gemini reading. This is your card. It's possible that when this card appears... You could be feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or maybe a situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only, only two modes that we operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card in a reading... It's saying it's safe to choose love because this is a time when love will be brought to you in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this would be either a new relationship or an existing one. Um, a powerful rebonding of an old one. So yeah, love is great. is beautiful. So coming up, Gemini. King of Wands, clarified by lovers. So like I said, um, Gemini, your person, they want back in. And it looks like the two of you could come back together and rejoice. And it's showing that it's going to be a happy come back together. Both of you are going to feel like everything is balanced out this time. Or, there, or it could be your person is ready to Make things more balanced. Make sure you're you're fit you're fitted into their to their um to their schedule now. Maybe they're able to do this now, so that you don't feel left out, or you don't feel like you're not a priority to them. They're ready to make sure it's balanced this time, or they're they're capable of doing it now because temperance is here. Happy return. That's what it's indicating. 
it could be for a lot of you, Gemini's. But this King of Wands, King of Wands, care, caring and protective feelings. This is how they feel about you. They, your person cares a lot about you, and they want to protect the connection. They see you as a strong soulmate. That's what you get with the lover's card. Um, or you could, they could know that you're a twin flame if they're into that. Or if you two know anything about soulmates, twin flames. Because this lover's card is a very, it's a deep connection. It's the strength of two. It's a, it's a partnership. It's deep love. It's a coming together. It's a union. So someone knows that this is um, a very powerful bond here. And I'm getting that it's your person. And this is why they're, they're trying to make a comeback. Yeah, they do care a lot about you. And I'm getting, you, you've got emotions for this person. The lover's card is here. The lover's card can also indicate falling in love. So maybe someone's falling in love. Now when you get the lover's card, it, it can indicate that, that the both of you could be falling in love at the same time. You're starting to feel your person um, really do care. You're starting to feel that they care about you and they want to protect you and the connection. So I wouldn't be surprised if you start to fall in love with this person, Gemini. So let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. So we got Justice and Page of Cups. Now, justice deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you can be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're directly involved with a court case and you get justice in the reading, it's likely to be resolved, at least a large degree, in your favor. Now, it's with the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, it shows a need to dream, play, have a little fun. When this card appears, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too seriously. There was a writer or a poet that once said, The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second is a disaster. You have to know the difference. So your outcome, Gemini, just is clarified by the Page of Cups. So yeah, justice is here. You could be thinking, wow, it's about time. That this, it's about time you reach out to me with, with, with what I need to hear. And yes, Gemini, this person wants to do right by you. Justice is here. They want to do right by you. They care a lot about you. They know that you're their soulmate. They know that this is a deep connection. And it's showing that it's going to open up your heart. Yeah, and because you two are soulmates or a twin flame, your hearts are going to open up at the same time. You two are going to start to mirror each other. Yeah, it's going to bring a lot of intimacy. Page of Cups. Yeah, the card below the word outcome. You see how those people, they're hanging loose at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle, having a good time. Yeah, so, you know, like I said, you're going to feel it's about time. It's about time you you reach out to me with, it's about time you come correct, put it that way. 
And yes, they do want to do right by you. Justice is here. Like I said, it's going to bring a lot of playful, fun energy, knowing that your person is ready for you this time. And, yeah, you, the both of you are going to open up your hearts to each other. And this page, that's what the Page of Cups is about. It's going to bring a lot of great intimacy. So, Gemini, what a nice reading for coming up for Valentine's. This is going to carry over into such a beautiful holiday. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings, if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God that things are not worse than they could be. So, hang in there, stay strong. Take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be your person, or your person could be you. So just take it for however it resonates. Also, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So, Jim and I, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.